If you're looking for the best acoustic guitar, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Epiphone DR100. Entry-level guitars have no right sounding this good. When you're looking for a beginner option, you're looking for something that will encourage you to keep picking it up. At this stage of your playing career, you don't need to spend lots of money. You do, however, need to keep in mind that if the guitar you're learning on sounds terrible or is hard to play, then you'll likely give up. The market is awash with sub $100 own brand acoustics, however proceed with one of these at your peril. Instead, consider a reliable acoustic like the Epiphone DR100. Built by one of the guitar world's biggest brands, the DR100 is an entry-level acoustic with the feel of something far more prestigious. Here you can expect solid tones, reliability and a guitar that will inspire you to keep playing it. Forget the low price. This is a well-made guitar that will set you up nicely for the musical journey ahead. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Yamaha FG800. This guitar can be found in most places for less than $200. This price bracket is awash with acoustic guitars from all kinds of brands, but when we think about the best in this region, we're drawn to the Yamaha FG800. Put simply, the sound this guitar produces makes it worth the money alone. This is largely down to features like scallop bracing, which boosts the low-end sound, and the solid spruce top, which is normally found on higher-end instruments all of which adds up to make the FG800 a highly credible guitar. You'll struggle to find a relatively inexpensive acoustic which matches up. The number 3 position is held by Martin Lex 1E Little Martin. The Martin Lex 1E is a small-sized dreadnought with bags of appeal. It's marketed as a travel acoustic guitar, which can be thrown in the included gig bag to accompany you anywhere. Spend a bit of time with one, However, and you'll see it has more to offer than as a mere travel companion. Despite the price and compact size being a Martin, it still has enough quality to deliver exceptional tone. The onboard Fishman Sonitone electronics make it ideal for hooking up to an amp, while the choice of rigid high-pressure laminate mahogany means it can withstand years of use. Next at number 4 we have Taylor GS Mini. Next up is something approaching bona fide classic status in the acoustic guitar world. The Taylor GS Mini was launched in 2011 and bridged the gap between travel guitars and fully-fledged workhorse acoustics wonderfully. The GS Mini is essentially a scaled-down version of the popular Taylor Grand Symphony-shaped acoustic. Its smaller size makes it ideal for leaving around the house, ready to pick up and play while you're waiting for the microwave to ping. But with the included es pickup, it can also make the leap to performance, making it ideal no matter what situation you find yourself in. The number 5 position is held by Taylor 100 Teen. So you've been playing a while and you're ready to spread your wings. Your playing proficiency has developed and you've nailed those techniques that caused you so much anguish at the start. Where to now? We'd say you deserve a new acoustic guitar that reflects your hard-earned progress. The Taylor 100 Teen might just be that guitar. Sitting in the bracket in between first guitars and professional heavyweights, the 100 Teen is a fine example of everything just done better. The Sitka Wood produces a gloriously welcoming sound, and the onboard Taylor Expression System 2 electronics make it ideal for live performance. And, being a Taylor, you can expect a certain degree of quality all round. The number 6 position is dominated by Takamine P3NY. We're big fans of a good parlor guitar here at Guitar World. With a slightly smaller body than a regular dreadnought size, they are perfect for folk who like folk hook and other genres too. But where they excel is in the hands of someone who knows how to use their hands. Makes sense. The Takamine P3 and Y is a great example and gets our nod as the best acoustic guitar for finger pickers. Combining cedar and sable tone woods with some pretty advanced electronics, you get a guitar that is comfortable in the hands of any players. What's more, employing something called a palathetic pickup, which articulates each string individually, it copes superbly with live performance at any volume. Moving on to the next at number 7 with 8. Martin SC13E It pays not to stand on ceremony when you are designing a guitar. 
let fresh thinking follow its own logic. That's how we end up with guitars such as Martin's SC13E, an electroacoustic the likes of which we have never seen before. Look at the body shape for a start that squashed off said cutaway tears up the rulebook. That's just for starters, flip it over and you'll see the shore aligned neck system with that deep carve allowing for full access to the top of the neck. The system allows for on-the-fly neck pitch and intonation tweaks. The top is Sitka spruce, the back and sides mahogany with a thin coat of veneer for some visual pizzazz. Martin saves the last of the fireworks for the playability with an action so low that might catch those used to wrestling chords out of their acoustic unawares. This is a daring guitar, playable with a stunning voice that sits so well in a mix. The number 8 position is held by Fender Acoustasonic Telecaster. Something of a curate's egg here. When you're looking for versatility in an acoustic, that usually means little more than it is at home being picked or strummed. With the Fender Acoustasonic, you get much more than that. Marrying up the projection and woody sounds of an acoustic with the unique form and function of a Telecaster, this guitar is sure to turn heads. But hidden behind the unique visual stylings is a guitar which gives you plenty of room to experiment. Some pretty advanced electronic trickery allows you to choose between a plethora of acoustic or teletones, or even blend them up to create something completely new. It's crazy, but we like it. Next at number 9 we have Martin D28. The Martin D28 is to acoustic guitars what the Porsche 911 is to cars. When you first start learning, it's the guitar you dream of owning. As you get better, you begin to appreciate what makes it so special. And if, if you ever get to try one, you'll understand what all the fuss is about. Famed for its favor among some of music's best-known names, the D28 has cemented its place in music history over eight decades. Its rich, warm tones can be employed across any number of musical genres, while the build quality is about as good as it gets. Players of any standard and of any style should try one at least once in their lives. When you know, you know. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Gibson SJ200 Deluxe. Rounding off the list, we have something a bit special. Something from the extremes of acoustic guitar excellence. The Gibson SJ200 Deluxe. Look at the ornamentation. Marvel at its pronounced curves. Recall at that gargantuan price tag. In reality, what we have here is a guitar to savor. Everything from the tone woods employed to extract tones that'll make your knees wobble, through to the advanced LR bags electronics. The SJ200 a fine example of what can happen when Gibson really puts its mind to it. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.